Hi everyone, is your cat a tuna fiend just like my Rex? But this week we have a recipe for you for a treat called tuna crackers and they are really really easy to make. Rexy absolutely loves them and they're a great way to treat your cat. They are really very easy to make with ingredients that you can get from any supermarket. Okay, so for this recipe all you need is one six ounce can of tuna in water which you can just get from any supermarket. One and a quarter cup of all-purpose flour, I'm using plain flour. Two eggs and a little bit of extra flour for when you're rolling them out. And the first thing you want to do is preheat your oven to about 175 degrees um, and line a baking tray with baking paper. All you want to do is empty the tuna into a bowl and along with the water. Right, and then all you need to do is put the flour and eggs into the bowl and then mix it up. Okay, next go in the eggs. Okay, so once, it's, once it starts sort of sticking together like this, you can go in with your hands. If you find that your dough is still a bit sticky, just put in a little bit of extra flour just to make it all stick together properly. Okay, so once that is all combined, just get a little bit more flour and just dust it onto your surface. Okay, and then using your rolling pin, roll it out until it's about a quarter of an inch thick. Okay, so that's about a one quarter inch thick, um, and then you, now you can just cut the treats using a knife into sort of any shape you want. Make sure they're sort of about about an inch, maybe, or maybe half an inch. Okay, and this is our first batch. Now, this batter is a little bit fiddly, so don't worry if um, they don't come out in sort of uniform shapes. And these are going to go into the oven for between 8 and 10 minutes. Once these treats are thoroughly cooled, they can be kept in the fridge in an airtight container for about a week and a half. Now let's see what Rex's verdict is. Well, as always, Rex enjoyed those treats and if you gave this a go, I really hope your cat did too. If you did give this recipe a go, please let me know in the comment section below or tag us in our social media at at to relax my cat. We've got something a little bit extra special this week. We have competition for you. We would like you to share your best cat care tips in the comment section below for your chance to win this Kong Rattle Catnip toy. Please leave them in the comment section below and Ragsy will pick a winner and we will announce it in our next video. Thanks for watching this video guys. We really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a big thumbs up and if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. Me and Rex, we will see you next week. Say bye Ragsy. No? You've got to be patient, Rexy. They've got to cook first. Good girl. <laughs>